Uh, look at this one. As Craig Wilson with the Second. USDA strolls around the garden at his office on Holloman, he can spot pretty much every bug in the neighborhood. It turns into a beautiful butterfly. Wilson has an affinity for insects, especially the monarch butterfly. It's quite miraculous. We just take it for granted and I'm trying to make sure the kids don't. The problem is the monarch is in the middle of a massive decline. With the recent drought and wildfires in Texas, the number of monarchs making the over 2,000 mile trip between Canada and Mexico is fading fast. They're sending reports that it's down at historic lows. The area covered by the monarchs is just a couple of hectares. The little egg hatches and the caterpillar will eat, eat the leaf. But Wilson is hoping to reverse that trend by promoting a plant crucial to the survival of the marvelous monarch. It is amazing, you plant it and they will come. It turns out a lack of milkweed plants is the main concern when it comes to the monarch butterfly. And in the USDA garden, you'll find plenty of it. But Wilson wants to see more. And so if people can just pick up some milkweeds and plant them. And that's where the producers cooperative and Brian spread its wings to cover the cause. Dr. Wilson was uh, very informative, letting us know about the monarch migration, and we felt like this was something that the residents of the Brazos Valley would be interested in. The co-op has a small number of milkweed plants available, but with so many local gardeners doing their part to help the monarch make its move north, more milkweed is expected. And on Monday, we expect a triple order to come in. Yeah, they jumped on board. So I'm uh, very impressed. It's all an effort to help the mystery of the monarch migration keep flight well into the future. It unites Mexico, USA, and Canada. Uh, and it would be, I think, devastating to see it disappear. Here in the Brazos Valley, Shane McAuliffe, News 3.